Alright mate, come on, wake up, we're here. Get off. Get off. Right, out you get. Whoa, super cop. That's a good arrest, Nick. <laughs> that, that's exactly the kind of quality arrest you should be making. Oh, yeah. Arch criminals, major villains. Oh, someone give us a hand, will you? Uh, excuse me, Jeff. Enough! Oh, no, standing room only tonight. Bit hassle, Sarge. Not this one, I'm afraid, Sarge. He wouldn't give his name, tried to let his fist do the talk. No, I didn't. Yeah, all right, Nick, Kids we know Mr. Duggan. about telling me what to do. I want to go home. Don't we all, mate? Are you alright now, Nick? You going? Yeah, I've got him. I thought you were dropping Debbie off. On my way, Sodge. I found Mr. Duggan crashed out on Brim Road. Tried to move him on, but he started shouting and swearing, waving his fist about. All I got out of him was that it was his wife's birthday. Fine way to celebrate, isn't it, mate? Shut up, Nick. Having a nice little party all by yourself, were you? She's dead. Oh. Happy birthday, dear cancer. Yeah, all right. I haven't seen you for a while. I thought you'd sorted yourself oh, out. Oh, yeah, well sorted out. You're still living in Larkhall Avenue? Yeah. Whatever. It's hot now, isn't it? You're right, mate. Get me number three. I'll book him after he's thrown up. <laughs> oh, no! There you go, Debs. Thank you. Well, it's a nice night for walking the streets, huh? <laughs> Do you want to swap? I don't mind. No, neither do uh, I. Well, I would like to, Debs. I would like to. Go on, Reg. Get out there. Be a gentleman. No, these probationers need toughening up. Yeah, and defrosting afterwards. You come back in here with me, Debs. I'll keep you going. <laughs> <laughs> what, with something your mother knitted you? <laughs> Turn the wind up, Reg. Let her freeze. <laughs> See you guys later. Later, gorgeous. Fancy club from Kiarovka. Fancy swan receiving. Reported disturbance, Deb. Mobile food stand, Gateside Street. On way. I just think of puke all night now. You have the man that dance, aren't you, Nick? Is this really what I joined up for, Sarge? I mean, okay, I'm sorry that the bloke's wife died and all that, but going out and getting in that sort of state, chucking up everywhere, the bloke should get some help. Well, that's what I think, anyway. So does his son, but he won't take any notice. Well, have we had to deal with him a lot, then? Oh, he's been in a few times, yeah. Then he goes through a phase of locking his son out, barricading the doors, you know, that sort of thing. It's always drink-related. He just loses it. Mind you, when he's sober, he's as nice as pie. No, no more drunks. They're on drugs or something. Hey, Gary, Gary. <laughs> Evening, officer. I'll be with you in a minute. Come on, out of there. Burger, kebab, chicken thing. Not tonight, thanks. Good old greasy food. Mm, delicious. I was trying to pack away and told them I was closed and they say this nonsense. He told us to wear up. No, I didn't. Look, if he's closed, he's closed. Now, come on. We're hungry. Get something at home. We well, want something now. Get out of there. Out. Or what? Or I'll nick you. Yeah? No, I'll nick you until I finish these burgers. Yeah, what's what you're oh. doing? Come on, everyone. Let's just yeah. calm it down. Yeah. No onions on mine. I don't want onions. Get some help. Right. Get some fresh bread. You see, she's on our side. Stop pushing you. Hey, mellow out. I'll mellow out if you two get out. No, if you're really that hungry, we'd do a very nice breakfast up at some Oh! Hour. Come on, fellas, I'm asking you nicely. Don't ask them, tell them! Oh, you haven't said please. No, I'm not going to either. Look, are you two going to come out or not? A watched burger never fries. Right. <laughs> Sierra Oscar from 561, receiving. Well done. <laughs> Go ahead, <by> the <laughs> Assistance required. Gate side street. Ah, oh, don't do that. No, wait a minute. Oh. Don't put them on him. He likes things like that. Oh. Get off! Just stop using the radio. Oh. <laughs> Debbie? Sarge? Yeah, I've got it. All units, all units, Sierra, Oscar. Urgent assistance required at a food stand on Gateside Street. Quick as you can. We don't want to lose a probationer. Get off! Just don't use the radio. Oh. You're in big trouble, mate. So we're only messing about. You need a... Get off! Come on. Oh, you mate. Here's a couple of quid. Buy yourself a new bucket of grease. And you? You haven't seen us, all right? 
Receiving. Debbie, are you all right? Yeah, sorry about that, Sarge. A couple of blokes messing around. One of them grabbed the radio. You're not injured? No, I'm fine. You're right? fine. Yeah. I'll leave it, Steve. It's not worth it. Sure. Mm. Steve and Polly are here. Sergeant Boyd now as well. I didn't realise I was so popular. Messed that one up, didn't I? Two on one, Deb. Not worth taking a chance for. One on one. His mate was too busy frying up. Where were all you lot five minutes ago? Yeah, we well, were just like buses, mate. She had to deal with those two junkies by herself. Well, where were you then? Why don't you check your van, sir? See if there's any damage. You shouldn't have women patrolling on their own. Not at night. It's not fair to them and it's not fair to the public. You're right, Deb. A couple of blokes started acting up. I tried to sort it out. Couldn't. Went for my radio and... We got a decent look at them, Sarge. We could go after them. It's not worth it, Steve. Dames are in distress. Right, it's two blokes. One in a black denim jacket with checkered sleeves. The other one in a brown leather jacket. Both icy ones, six footish, brown hair. Right, go around the block a couple of times. If you see him, give him a hard time. So. Yeah, all right, calm down. All right. Oh, feeling better, are you? I want to go home. We should have done that when you left the pub. Yeah, well, I tried to, but that kid, you know, you're a copper. He arrested you for drunk and disorderly. I didn't do anything wrong. Look, can't I just go home? No, not while you're still half cut. Well, call my boy for us. Call Steve, they'll come and get me. What, at this time? And how's he going to get you home? In a wheelbarrow? No, no, he can drive now. He's passed his test, he's got a car. I'm surprised he puts up with you. I don't care. Whatever, it's up to you. All right, we'll call him. But don't blame either of us if he doesn't come out. No disrespect, love, but you didn't handle them very well, did you? Well, I think I damaged did it. You didn't get hurt. They even left the money on the counter. That's not the point. No, the point is, sir, you just stood back and watched, didn't you? Well, what else was I supposed to do? Well, if things were as bad as you say they were, you could have stepped in and helped. It's an offence, you know, failing to assist a police officer. She shouldn't have needed assistance. If you want to make a complaint, sir, we're in the book. I might just do that. I think you'll find. Well, if he does, I'll ask him if he wants a visit from the old people. You did have a point. Saying you weren't up to it? I was up to it. I just got it wrong. Well, you'll know better next time, won't you? Come on, let's go back and get some rest. I just feel a bit stupid, that's all. Everyone racing to help the poor little probationer. Well, it's better than being a bit hospitalised. Well, I'd hardly call you little. Super cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You up for a takeaway later on, Nick? You're not me, thanks, mate. I'm too busy fighting crime. Oh, come on, Nick. Debbie's going to bring us back another kebab and stuff. Yeah, I bet she is. She all right? She broke her finger now, and this lot rushed to kiss it better. Excuse me. Officer requires assistance. I think they were hoping she might have ripped her blouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Duggan, Nick Slater, would you like to come through? Got here quick. Get it over and done with, eh? Yeah. I've got to be up again in five hours. So at work? Yeah. What do you do? I'm produce manager. Well, acting produce manager at the supermarket in Maryland Street. Got to sort out deliveries, make sure stuff gets on the shelves. Oh, manager, eh? Plus there's someone down from head office tomorrow. If I turn up late, the warehouse looks like a tip. Oh, big day, don't you? Yeah, big enough not to need this. Is that it? That's it. Thank you. Don't thank me. And if you're back in here again, you won't get away with a caution. You got it? Got it. And don't give your son a hard time. He'll be all right. He'll just crash out. Oh, I'll cause him any trouble. Nick, will you escort Mr. Duggan to his son's car, please? It's parked out the front. Sounds like you've had some fun and games tonight, Debbie. Sort of, sir. She's a little bit embarrassed about it, sir. Yeah, give us that. I'm 54. I didn't control the situation properly, sir. Played it too pally, let him mess me about. I could have got it sorted if I hadn't gone for the radio. Is this charged up, Sarge? Should be. Instead, all I managed to do was put everyone into a panic. Cars come hurling from all directions, the lads run off, and I'm left there standing like a right lemon. At least you were left standing. I've told her, sir. Well, you'd react the same way if they needed help. Yeah, and give them the same wind-ups they'll give me. Welcome to the team. 
It was Mum's birthday. We both felt pretty miserable. You don't know what it's like. We have different ways of dealing with it. Yeah, well, there are people you can speak to, you know? Yeah. People who do know what it's like. Yeah. I'm not taking pills and potions and Valium. We've been through all that. We're all right. We're getting by. This is it. Very nice. See? He doesn't squander his money on drink. He's getting on with his life. Get a flat in the house next. All right now? Thanks, Sarge. Break that one and it comes out your wages. That kind of advanced technology costs at least a fiver. Give us a shout when you've eaten and done your 1080. I'll give you a lift to your beat, right? Oi, what have you been up to then? Don't ask. Do you bring me a kebab? Stick to nicking drunk, super cop. I'll take that as a no, Nick. We do the same for you, Paul. You better. I tell you what, you bring us back kebabs and all. <laughs> do shut up about those bloody kebabs! We're looking forward to them as well. No, you wouldn't have been if you'd seen the inside of that van. Good half an inch of grease on everything. Like your hair, Reg. No, that's Jill. <laughs> Sarge, do you want us to give you a lift back onto your beat then? No, I'm all right, thanks. Sergeant Boyden said he'd drop me off. Knock you off, more like. Yeah, now, Debbie, you know you shouldn't accept lifts from strange men, don't you? That's why I'm going with Sergeant Boyden. Not good enough for you now, eh? Is that what you're saying? Sorry, Tone. And you thought that business at the kebab stand was accidental. No, a cunning ploy, see, to get the senior officers to notice me. Ah. I've got a career to think about. Onwards and upwards. Pretty much like his Anzin, when he goes to change gear. Yeah, first second. Oh, sorry, is that your knee, Rob? And oh, that's before he's even started the car. Yeah, you know you've got to watch your dodgy dodge. Leave her alone. She's paranoid enough already. See, it's got to be the same blokes as last week. Off licence, pickaxe handles. Where are they? They're in Hackney. So it's not our problem tonight. Sergeant Boyden? Yes, yeah, our problem tonight. Gonna float around for an hour or so. Fit this? Mm. You alright there, mate? You warm enough? Oh, yeah, I'm alright. 408 from Sierra Oscar. Yeah, 408 receiving. Where are you at the moment, Nick? I'm on Old Shire Road, just down from the post office. Can you go to Lark Hall Avenue, please? We've got what sounds like a domestic. Was that number three, Lark Hall Avenue? That's the one. It's not a Mr. Duggan, is it? No further details as yet. All right, on way. Well, oh, it's like that takeaway bloke earlier. We're going to get a lot of old twaddle like that. Me, personally, I think the more women in the Met, the better. Yeah. Of course, nothing to do with their policing abilities, just good old-fashioned lust. Thanks, Sarge. Right, have a nice, quiet stroll and enjoy the night air. Try not to let anybody nick your radio, giving us all a heart attack. Be back in an hour or so to see how you're doing. Keep an eye on the plonk, eh? Oh, plonk, probation, PC, whatever. You're doing all right. Open the door, Dad! Dad! Hello again, Stephen. I'm sorry about all this. Yeah, I thought it was going to be all right. Yeah, so did I. So what went wrong? I don't know. He started on the way home, and then when we got in and I said I was going to bed, I mean, what am I supposed to say, you know? I've got to work. Yeah, but what's he upset about? Mum, me, him. It's just a booze. Yeah, but something must have triggered it. Doesn't like being told he ought to get some kind of help. You mean like I told him? Not when he's had a few drinks. Keep me big mouth shut, eh? It just aggravates him. And he's taking a swing at you as well, has he? Your cheek's bruised. No, no, I caught it, I caught it on the banister when he's pushing me out the door. How bad does it look? Yeah, well, it might be worth putting some ice on that before the morning. Great. So what's the best way to play this one, then? Well, usually I just wait for him to crash out and then let himself back in. Well, do you want to open the door now or I'll come in with you? No keys. I've left him in the jacket. Well, you can't stay out here all night, can you? Any windows open? No, I've been round the house. Well, do you think it'll do any good me trying to talk to him? It's up to you. The worst he can do is shout at you. Mr. Duggan, it's the police. Mr. Duggan, can you open the door, please? Mr. Duggan! Just go away! All of you, just go away and leave me alone! Come on, Mr. Duggan, it's cold and it's late. I'm not having you in here telling me how pathetic I am! Oh, come on, Mr. Duggan, Stephen doesn't deserve this, does he? He can come if he wants to! No, he can't, Mr. Duggan, you've got his keys in there. They're in my jacket, Dad! Yeah, he's standing out here without a coat on. Now come on, Mr. Duggan. Open the door, please. This is Stephen's house as well. 
Thank you. I don't deserve this either. No, I'm sure you don't. No one does. Don't patronise me. You got anywhere else where you can stay tonight? He'll be alright now. Yeah, you've said that before. I'll just go upstairs and get into bed. He won't say anything else to me and I'm not going to say anything else to him. You sure? You can come in here or start there. It's up to you. He'll wake up in the morning and he won't remember any of it. And then that'll be that till the next time. Their wedding anniversary. Yeah, I don't know. I think I should go in and have a word with him. No, way. Listen, if I don't get any sleep soon, I'm going to be knackered in the morning. Give him 10, 15 minutes and he'll have passed out. All right. I don't know what else I can say. I'm fine, he's fine. Thanks for sorting it out and I'm sorry we've been a pain. I'll better get him before he changes his mind. What was that all about? Domestic. Yeah? Yeah, Mr Duggan locked his son Stephen out of the house. He's calmed down a bit now though. The kid seems to think the storm's passed. Did you talk to him? The kid, yeah. And Duggan? No, not really. And you reckon everything's going to be all right? Yeah, I think so, Sarge. Stephen seems pretty sure. Right, radio in. Domestic. Advice given. Here Oscar from 561 receiving. Go ahead, Debbie. Don't worry, it's not about kebabs. I'm at the Waybank Street entrance of the Cockcroft Estate. There's three blokes here unloading a rover into one of the lock-up garages. Yeah, they're unloading what, Debbie? Can't really tell, Sarge. Boxes of some kind. Do not we to try and get the index number of the car? Yeah, hang on a minute, Deb. What do you reckon, sir? I'd say Hackney have just handed the problem back to us. Yeah, it's got to be them, innit? I don't want to tackle them on our own. Right. Debbie? Yes, Sarge? We think these are the blokes who did the off-licence in Bream Road last week. Lovely. If not, they could be a crew who were busy in Hackney earlier on. Either way, they're not overly sociable. What do you want me to do then, Sarge? Basically, watch your back and stay where you are till we can get you some support. Oh, Sarge, I think they're just about done. Yeah, they're closing up the garage now. Okay, just stay where you are. Get as many people yeah, but Sarge... Sarge? Oh, what? Where's she gone? I don't know, Sarge. I've lost her. Not again. She doesn't know how to use a radio, doesn't she? 561 from Sierra Oscar receiving. Get her that back up now. 561 from Sierra Oscar. Are you receiving, Debbie? Morning. Everything all right? Can I ask your mate to turn the engine off for a second? No, stay where you are, please. Walk away, darling. No, I can't do that. Oh, you can if you don't want to get hurt. I don't want any trouble. I just want to ask you a couple of questions, that's all. Get in the car! Polly, you take the rover. OK, Sarge. One move, just one move! They've turned into the car park and done for close. We've got them now, there's no way out. They're trying for it, though. Play chicken. Steve, back up. Steve, reverse! Sierra Oscar from Sierra One. Very good. I thought we were supposed to be waiting for backup. 
Why can't you do as you're told? It's for your own safety. Weren't you listening? No, sir, but the radio... I don't care about the radio. But they were going to drive off. Look, you just follow orders. That's all you do. No ifs or buts. Right, come on, get him up. Ah! Get up and shut up. Oh, don't take it out on me. Stop whinging. Try the radio now. Sierra Oscar from 561 receiving. Right, somebody's left it on charge too long. Cook the batteries. Let's go. It's all happening here. 79 from Sierra Oscar. Yeah, go ahead. You got things sorted out down there? Yeah, it's just mopping up. Can you get over to Lark Hall Avenue again? Why? Things have gone pear shaped on Nick's later. Tell him I'll be there in five minutes. You probationers are having a good night, aren't you? Okay, thanks. How's he doing? Well, he's lost a lot of blood. They're patching him up before they take him to the hospital. I thought you said everything was all right. Where is he then? You all right? All right, Stephen? Can't they take him to the hospital? Not quite, I don't think. He started chucking everything around again. Hassling me, trying to hit me. We were in the kitchen and there was a knife on the side. He just wouldn't shut up, you know. Kept going on and on about Mum. The same thing over and over again. I didn't want her to die. It wasn't my fault. Let's go to the car, Stephen. Why does he have to keep taking it out on me? Go on, Stephen. You got your keys and everything. You've got to try and get on with your life, you know. You can't just sit there day after day wishing it had never happened. There was nothing we could do. Nothing the doctors could do. Mum tried. We all tried! Supercop. Did you get me any of those kebabs? <laughs> kept trying to get hold of you on the radio, but you kept ignoring me. You are right? You? Oh, I'm having a great night. Unless his old man starts improving, looks like I've just nicked a kid for manslaughter. We're good at this, aren't we?